I recently needed to adjust the ABS sensor housing on my motorcycle because the dealership incorrectly installed it when they replaced my rear tire. In order to adjust that sensor, you need to break loose the rear axle, and that requires a special tool. Well, fortunately, I had already had that tool in my toolbox, so I was able to quickly make that adjustment. As you can see, the ABS housing now is correctly aligned uh, where it should be because you can quickly identify that there is no longer that stress and that 90 degree bend on the cable, on the electrical connection, and it's now going through the eyelet. And uh, you can see here that the two projections, the one right here on the housing and the projection on the sensor itself is correctly aligned. And as I predicted, it only took about five minutes to line that up. And I just needed to remove the sensor uh, connection right here, just one bolt, that just pops out. And then I just needed to break loose the axle and give it some wiggle room to be able to spin that in place and uh, put it in its proper position. But in order to remove the axle, it takes a large uh, hex head in order to do that. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You just pop this cap off, and there it is. There's the axle. Uh, first and foremost, before you ever go cranking on that, there are two screws back here that you need to remove or at least back out, and those are called pinch bolts because basically they are making sure that this thing will never spin out uh, and back out on its own because you can see the gap there, and the pinch bolts basically clamp that down uh, to tighten that. So once you first uh, remove or loosen the pinch bolts, then you can break loose the axle. Now, a couple of things that you can do. You have a couple of options with respect to the tool that you use to do that. One would be to get a hex head that's 24 millimeters and you are good to go. However, um, the front axle on the motorcycle is a different size, so you would need to get a couple of them or just get a set of large uh, hex sockets. And the other alternative, which I had found several months ago, was this more or less universal tool. This one is a hex axle tool. And as you can see, it comes with four different sizes, 17, 19, 22, and 24 millimeter. And it works simply enough. You just insert it. And like I said, this one happens to be the largest. The one on the VMAX is 24 millimeters. So I just insert it there and it's ready to go. Now what I like about this particular tool, it really leaves two options. The end is set up for a 3 8 inch drive, which I have right here. Just easy enough. Put it in there and break it loose. Now for me, I didn't feel that I was going to get enough leverage on a 3 8 inch drive. So I decided to use part of the tool itself and the 22 millimeter uh, specifically. So I grabbed a 22 millimeter socket with a half inch drive. So I slid that over like that and that allowed me to use my larger drive ratchet, which was right here. And that gave me more leverage uh, to be able to break it loose. And if that would not have been enough leverage to break it loose, I could have easily used my half inch breaker bar, which would have even given me more leverage. Uh, but I did not need to do that. So that's all there was to that. And of course, uh, when I needed to tighten everything down, I did the exact same thing. And I have a torque wrench, uh, so I torqued it down to the right settings. Well, like I said, the front tire can use the same thing, uh, but it's a different size and I will show you that. As you can see, the front axle is a little bit smaller than the rear axle, and as I stated before, it's actually 19 millimeters. So just like on the rear, you simply insert it into the axle, and this also exposes the 22 millimeter hex on the outside. So for me, if I need to remove the front wheel, I will do the same thing as I did on the rear. I will use the 22 millimeter socket with the half inch drive, so that will enable me to have more leverage 
uh, which I would prefer over the 3 8 drive. So for me, I was fortunate that I already had this tool on hand when I discovered that I needed to make an adjustment on the rear wheel to correctly align that ABS sensor because I had bought this shortly after I purchased the motorcycle, kind of anticipating that someday I would need to have it. So I was glad I made that purchase then, so I wasn't scrambling to either go out and find a tool locally that would fit, or to place an order and have to wait for that to come in. So like I mentioned before, it was only a five minute fix, and fortunately I had already had this tool in the toolbox. I got it from Amazon, it was only $9. You will see a link in the description to this very tool, and there are many others that you will see on Amazon that are very similar, and I think they're all made by the same company. Somehow they just changed the name, probably according to who is uh, distributing it. But anyway, it, it may be something that you want to consider having on hand in the event that you need to remove your wheels. So if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. See you next time.